Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krengor, and welcome to a little video I'm making to show you the setup I've got going for the battle reports for Warhammer Age of Sigmar I'm going to be making very soon. So, I bought this giant <laughs> war mat on Amazon for like $25, because uh, I don't have a table, I don't have like a big table, gaming table to play on, so I was like, dude, I'll just buy a mat and put it on the floor. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. It's got a little glare to it if you hit like, you know, in certain spots. But like, if I do like certain angles, like it looks pretty good. It's got like some, uh, it's made out of, I forgot what this is called. It's like a Velcro-y, not a Velcro, but like vinyl. I think it's vinyl uh, material. Uh, so it fit, you know, it goes well on the floor. The only problem is like the edges kind of curve up. So I've been using my, <laughs> Warlords of Draenor box and some other stuff and uh, putting them to very good use uh, and flattening out the edges. Uh, but honestly, it's a 4x6, so it's perfect size for doing this. And I've got like some stuff on the board. Right now there's some Lizardmen stuff. And over here, I got some Orc stuff. Uh, and so I also went to Target and I bought some trees because they got Christmas uh, trees now. And for some reason... Dude, they have a load of, like, pine trees and, like, wonky trees. And they have this big, like, Christmas-looking tree. I don't even got to make my own terrain. Look at that. He's going to Target. <laughs> uh, so I'll uh, I'll probably throw in some other terrain stuff. Honestly, <laughs> I could do, like, uh, some deadly terrain. Like, uh, here we go. Ugh, deadly terrain. The uh, squishable sloth. Uh, once per turn, squishable sloth. Oh, I want to get my dice. These are actually Aeronautica dice, but I use them for, like, playing the game because they look really cool. Like, look at these. These are legit, like, really cool dice. And they got the, like, uh, orc skull with a little pilot thing. I have the blue ones, too. So, we'll say uh, on a, I don't know, what's a, on a 15 up, the sloth makes a movement. All right, that's not a 15. But, let's say... At some point, oh, that's pretty close. Uh, oh, wait, 12, 16. Uh, so the sloth will make a move. He has D3 movement. He'll be moving five inches. Uh, I can't actually, I don't even know where I put my tape measure. Uh, but we'll say the sloth. So he'll like roll in and like crush a whole bunch of these. Uh, what are these? I think these are, uh, Savage Auric. They're, uh, Arrow Boys, but I didn't know what I wanted to make them. I was kind of playing some games with them as, like, not weaponized yet. So they just, they have their arms on and they're based, but they have no, like, arrows or anything. So I didn't know if I wanted to make Arrow Boys or I wanted to make, uh, you know, the melee ones. But I'm going to do the Arrow ones just because I like... I think they're better as arrow guys. Plus, I have so many melee guys already. I have Ard Boys, I got Brute Guys, I got Big Boss, Big Stats. So it's nice to have some ranged in the Orc Army. I got my big guy back here. Uh, I haven't glued the top guy on because um, he. Uh, I got to paint him still, and I want to be able to paint under it. So anyway, I could do, like, crazy stuff like that, like, make it really fun. That's what I plan on doing. I plan on doing some, like, really fun battle report stuff, like, oh, the slot's coming in. So I'll make my own rules. So if he rolled that, he would just roll in, just crush something, and maybe then he disappears. Uh, so it's going to be non-content battle reports. So heading over here, there's my lizard dudes. They're sitting back. You got Lord Croak. You got the other guys. They're guarded. Uh, here's the other ones I got. They look really cool. They're the blue ones. Uh, I just really like the pattern in the dice. Uh, and each dice is actually like kind of different. You can kind of see it. They have the, uh, you see it better in the light. So they got that, like, swirliness to them. Woo! A lot of ones and a lot of fives. That is not, well. All right. Um, so my plan is, and then, it, well, I also have these little dice. There's, like, a bunch of little dice. Now I also got green dice. So uh, I use these usually for, like, command points or summoning point totals or things like that. And then... I also use them if I need to make a lot of dice rolls with, you know, 
arrow boys, for example, who roll like 60 dice in one turn. Uh, so those are useful for that. But anyway, um, this is uh, what I got planned out right now. I'm actually, like I've said, I want to really do these battle reports, uh, but I want to put my own spin on it. So as you can clearly see, I am. Um, and it should be fun. I'm going to be doing it like a, like a sports broadcast. I think that's going to add another element to it. Uh, where I'm going to pretend to be like an announcer and be like, I'm Joe Buck, <laughs> and here we go with the battle report. He rolls a seven. And then I'll have uh, his partner just be like, well, <laughs> uh, what does, when you roll a seven, you just don't know what's going to go on in the field. Uh, and then, you know, I'll have like flashy little things pop up like an actual sports game. I, it's going to, that's going to be fun. I'm going to try to make it fun because I'm going to do my own spin on it. And as you already know, I can, uh, I can get a little crazy out there. What do we got? Dude, that's a legit roll right there. That's like, if you're hitting on fours, that's like all hits. And if you're wounding on fours, that's three wounds. And if you're saving on sixes, that's three wounds you take. Wow. I'm also going to do a thing. So like, uh, I'll obviously like explain a lot of the rules as we go along. So if you have no idea what's going on, my main goal is to make it so if you don't know what's happening, um, you at least <laughs> still find it entertaining and kind of get what's happening. That's my main goal with all this. Cause I think when you watch other battle reports or people playing Age of Sigmar or any Warhammer thing, it's kind of hard to follow along if you have no idea what's going on. So I'm trying to simplify that a little bit. So it should be a good time. Um, and that's where, that's where I'm at right now. So my main thing I'd like for you to recommend is just if there's any other terrain you want to see, or, uh, I would say different armies, but I literally only have lizards and orcs right now. I have 2,000 points of each, so I might just do 1,000 point battles just to keep it, uh, not as long and more variety for different, uh, videos that I do and less to edit. Maybe a little over a thousand. We'll see. Uh, cause you want to get the big guys in, you know? So, uh, if there's any type of terrain you want to see, I'm working on my beast of chaos right now. So I'm trying to get more armies done so I can have like a variety of, uh, different things I can play with. And then hopefully we'll have some fun. Uh, and then I'm also be doing my, how to get in a Warhammer video, uh, as well. So should be good. Should be a fun time. And, uh, Leave any comments or suggestions uh, in the comment section below. Leave comments in the comment section, guys. Um, you better not leave anything else down there. I don't know what else to say. Either way, <laughs> thanks for watching. And uh, look at that. This video is not even 10 minutes because I don't even care about the double ad. All right? I care about just the, the passion and the quality of the, the content or the non-content. We'll zoom in on a... Lord Croak for now. And this guy. Okay? <laughs> okay. See you.